guys, I'm here today with a live reaction to Dororo episode 11, guys. Let's jump right into this, man. It's so. Dororo. I think Dororo. Dororo. Oh my gosh, I always add another row. It's like it's like I'm getting to a point where I'm realizing, you know, you guys call me out on it, so I'm like, I'm, no I'm noticing. I'm like, oh, I do. I do, but it's so unintentional, you know. Oh yeah. Crab monster. And then the, like, Hikamaru came and did his thing. I thought that was really cool. He just pulled out his sword, stabbed it, and held it onto it because, you know, the water is coming. And it's going to, like, of course, push you around. That's pretty badass. I don't know what that stuff is right there. It looks nasty. Like that white stuff? Ugh. Mmm, I wonder what the relationship is gonna be between the two brothers. You know, it's so funny because it's like, we know they're brothers, but they're, they don't know. Like, that's your brother, yo. <laughs> what the heck? That's your brother. And you don't know. Wow. I'm so serious. If I uh, excuse, sorry, yeah, I can't hit those notes for some reason. Like the way, like you know, I always give respect to singers because it's like the things they do with their voices. Wow, like literally, I love music. Like I love music. I love you know listening to all types of music, just hearing different sounds and just you know different styles and all of that. And it's like the things they do. With their voices taking to certain notes, you know, how they make their voices sound, it's ridiculous. The story of Banmon, part one. Oh, this is a part one, okay. So there might, there'll be a second episode, of course, part two. Hmm. Oh, his vision! It's coming back! Wait, is it? Or is it not? Do you want money? Yo! Oh my gosh! I think it's say right, that's a Hikimaru, right? Hyakimaru. Hyakimaru. Oh! Hyakimaru. That's not hard. I say it wrong! Hyakimaru. Sometimes you really just gotta listen, you know? What that what was that? That's different than what he usually sees. Is that because that's his family? I don't know. I like 
the brother though. He's not bad. Mm, I guess you could look at it like that. But you know what's funny about that sentiment is Hyakimaru is the heir as well because that's the brother and he's the oldest. You know what I mean? That's the funny part about it. By comparing, you know, Hikimaru as a vagabond, Hyakimaru as a vagabond. Vagabonds are cool. I don't care. They're cool. <laughs> Isn't there like a series called Vagabond that's really good? Oh wow, look at her. Wait. This is the first time we're actually going to somewhere active like this, isn't it, right? Because we've been to other villages, but this village is like different, like a lot of people around, a lot of food, businesses, and everything. It's so funny because they don't know he went to demons to get this land rich. You know what I mean? Demons. Oh, the old guy. I just call him the old guy. If he gave us a name, I forgot it. Man, Neo, yo. Oh no. Yeah, he could just see that. This. Look at that. They'll have no crops or anything.
the wife for her too, she's like, oh wow. She's like, he's alive. <laughs> I was wondering how will they get the name, you know? Wow. Do you send something? Ah. Bro, look at Hikamaru talking. We're not robbing corpses. This kind of looks good. I'm hungry, you guys. I'm super hungry right now. That's so sad, yo. Man. It's like, we need to, yo, they need to stop this war and bloodshed here. People losing their families. It's, it's like every episode, like, it really gets to you. Because it's like, you see all these people lost their families, homeless, living by themselves, prosthetics, you know? It's sad. Not being able to go home. Night is when all the demons and stuff come out. I don't know what's that happening with his eye. I don't know. <laughs> it's like it's shaking or something. Sukero. Sukeroku? Sukeroku was the name? Why do I feel like... Why do I feel like he's gonna stop her from praying there? That's your son, yo! Exactly! I don't think the wife should pay. I don't think she had anything to do with it. It was all him. Or did she know? I don't remember her knowing. I mean, she knows, but it's like... Who wouldn't know? I just had a baby. Where is he, you know? Politics? Oh. I think um the I forgot the other one's name. It starts with a T, I believe. The brother? I think he knows. He's adding it all up. Hmm.
That's if she's alive. I mean, I don't want to be the the bearer of bad news, but it, I mean, I hope she's good. I hope she's alive. I don't want you to, you know, not have a mom. Look at this. Ooh. How do you kill stuff like this? This looks pretty cool. Just a slash with the sword can do it? Huh, maybe it does. I don't think it's doing anything though. It just keeps summoning more. Dororo, be careful. But it's like anything can kill them then. Because Dororo is throwing rocks and it's like doing damage. <laughs> look at us! Look at us! But he wants to see his family. Look at bro. Okay. Are they forming one spirit now? Yep. Yeah, what are you going to do? Bro, you, it, you... It's all connected. He's adding it up. He is the ba he's the baby. I think she calls everyone that. She's crazy. I thought she was holding a baby this whole time. Then again, why would she have a baby if she kind of lost it? Oh man, I think we should have stayed with Hiyakumaru. Oh, it's gone! Is it leaving? Ah! Just gonna. But that's why there's part one and part two. Bro! He really got the whole army here to Bro! He came here to kill him! He got the whole army here, yo!
She's the one who saw it. She was there. Bro, yo, they're gonna try to kill my him. Really, yo, this is good. Don't end it like this. He sees the red, just like him. They're gonna end it like if don't you dare end it like this. Don't end it. Ooh, so symbolic. I feel like just throwing my headphones, but then they'll break, and I don't want to break my stuff. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. I'm clapping just to get out the frustration, cause it's like, why would you end it like that? It's like that's such a, but it's such a perfect way to end it. Because now, the information the brother received from that lady is enough. There's a kid we saw who's like my age with no arms and prosthetic leg. Coming back to bring the curse to Daigo's land. My dad. My dad heard the news about the guy who saved us. He was shocked. My mom was pretty upset as well. Connected. So my mom and dad have a secret where a kid was cursed by my dad. And now he's coming back to bring the curse back to my dad. It's not so hard for him to add up with the information he has. And this person we saw has no arms and prosthetic leg. And he's blind. So what does that tell you? It's him. You know what I mean? So now, like, it's... The son knows the information. The dad's here. He's ready to kill, um, Hiyakumaru. So, Dororo left is on the other side. It, it's like, I don't know, it's like I'm wondering what's gonna happen. I'm actually happy Dororo left though, because the thing is, if Dororo stayed with, he, you know, Hikimaru, it would have ended up bad, because they would have probably killed Dororo. But since Dororo's gone, maybe, I feel like with those guys, Dororo may be able to survive. I don't, like, with them, I feel like Daigo would have killed Dororo. Like, it wouldn't have ended up, you know, good for him. So I'm really happy in that point. Like, this was, this was a pretty good episode, like, towards the ending and all of that going on. Just the battle with those foxes. The foxes look awesome. I love, like, the design like, with the green fire, all of that goodness and whatnot. But yeah, you know what? Thank you so much for watching, guys. You made it to the end of your amazing, yo. Peace out.